So it just feels like we continually uh, show up at the table, give her 100 percent and we get dismissed. The Native Women's Shelter of Montreal is pumping the brakes on its partnership with an advisory committee involved in improving the city's youth protection services for Indigenous children. Nakuset, executive director of the shelter, says they've enlisted the help of the Centre for Research Action on Race Relations because after a number of reports and public inquiries, they haven't received any concrete commitments of action or change from the Batshaw Youth and Family Centre dedicated to serving English-speaking Montrealers. We had a series of meetings, but unfortunately, everything that we put forward in terms of concerns, in terms of concrete steps, they were completely ignored and not even, um, like they didn't even show up in the minutes. It was, re- it was very strange. So after a couple of meetings, we just decided that it was probably best not to attend these meetings because we were, it seemed like we were just wasting our time. In 2019, the Native Women's Shelter took part in a report, One Step Forward, Two Steps Back, that provided recommendations for youth protection and outlined examples of systemic racism Indigenous families face. Inuit children and their families are told not to speak their first language of Inuktitut when on supervised visits. And in 2013, we saw that there were no statistics indicating actual numbers of Indigenous children in care. And now we find ourselves in 2021, and this is still an ongoing issue. The Native Women's Shelter pushing the Quebec government to intervene and have youth protection services implement the recommendations made in reports and public inquiries like the Vien and Lohan commissions. How many reports do you need to have on your desk saying, please follow these recommendations and that they're just ignored? If the government isn't going to hold them accountable then they're going to get away with it. The group's looking at the possibility of making a civil rights complaint. It's laborious, it's costly, but we find that sometimes legal action is possibly one of, you know, the only ways to really bring about um, durable and concrete changes in the system. The CIS de l'Ouest de l'Île de Montréal overseeing Batcha says they are hoping to continue collaborating with the Native Women's Shelter of Montreal, telling City News in a statement, We are in action to deploy the recommendations of the Vien and Laurent commissions. We are working with several authorities so that these recommendations can be implemented concretely and in a coordinated manner in our organization and across the province. An action plan is also being developed for the deployment of these national recommendations in our We are suspending formal meetings with upper management. We are 100% committed to the Indigenous children. We currently at the Native Women's Shelter have four staff that are dedicated to working with all the caseloads. That in the last year, we've had already 50 families that we have supported. We have a waiting list. So we are the ones that are literally doing the work. And what we need is for the institution to make some changes because it's like running into a wall. In Montreal, Alicia Rubertucci, City News.